Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel Farmer Drone. Lactating dairy cows can eat 100 pounds of food a day and drink up to 50 gallons or 200 liters of water. This repetitive cycle of eating and drinking produces a very large amount of manure. Dairy herds are becoming larger and larger all the time. So old methods of manure removal is not practical anymore. Now in modern dairy farms, automatic barn cleaners is now the norm and the manure is pumped into holding facilities known as pits or tanks. These tanks can either be earth tanks, but the trend now is into large concrete facilities. Liquid manure is rich in nutrients and is suitable for plant growth. It has 3% nitrogen, 2% phosphorus and 1% potassium, making it the right type of fertilizer for almost all types of plants and crops. It also brings back the nutrient balance to fields organically. So in today's video, we'll see how to move 1.2 million gallons or 5 million liters of liquid manure from the holding tank to the fields. So doing that job today is Maya Han's custom farming from nearby Castleman. The method for this job today is known as dragline irrigation. Basically, a very long hose, sometimes thousands of feet long, is assembled between the holding tank and the field. Here the crew are unwinding the major feed line 8 inch hose while one of the operators backs the pump into the pond. This not only pumps the liquid manure from the pond, but also agitates the tank to break up the hard crust on top of the tank. The massive pump for this operation is powered by a 425 horsepower motor. The blue hose is known as the main feed line. The main feed line is not disturbed and there's a secondary 7 inch hose that's actually dragged back and forth across the field. Although the pressure is extremely high at the pump, by the time it gets to the applicator on the field, pressure is down to 3 to 5 pounds, making it an ideal pressure for distribution onto the field. When distances are great, sometimes it's necessary to have an auxiliary pump. And on this job, one was required. The large reel behind the red tractor is known as a hose humper, and it helps put the hose in the proper position on the field. Ideal speed for the application is 2 miles per hour or about 3 kilometers per hour. When all goes well, the distributor can lay 150,000 gallons per hour.
As you can see from this shot, the blue 8 inch main feed line is not disturbed, while the 7 inch red line can be maneuvered by the tractor. Additional agitation to break up the solids on the tank is supplied by a New Holland tractor. Here's a great shot showing how this type of application really works well. With all the equipment running normally, good progress is being made. Continuous agitation has finally removed the crust from the top of the pond. Today William is driving the Case STX325 and the 50 foot spreader. The tractor is maintaining a 2 mile an hour speed and a 7% slippage.
the long boom really made the turn an easy job. Manure levels in this tank are dropping quickly and this job is just about done. And so that's how a lot of this cattle feed ends up back on the field. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and a subscription to my channel would be greatly appreciated. May the sun always shine on your crop.